Do not attempt any maintenance service while the equipment is in operation. System pressure must be relieved and the product drained before attempting any service on the unit. It is the responsibility of the user to comply with all federal, state, and local regulations. Employ proper safety precautions and handling techniques. Hello, I'm Dave Morrow, Director of Product Management here at OPW. Today we're going to talk about the API 800 series coupler and how to do normal routine seal replacement. Before we begin, let's look at the part numbers and models that are available for this coupler. So we have four different models that we have available. The API 810, the API 810 VG, the API 812, and the 812 VG. The difference between the 810 and the 812 is just the handle. We have a different operating handle. The 810 being the short handle, like you see here. This is primarily used in Canada and Europe, where we have much smaller cabinets that we're operating in. And in most of the US, we would use our 812, which is our standard handle. It's a little bit longer, like you see here. The other thing you'll see in the part number is a VG. The VG designates a Viton GFLT seal, which would be used on ethanol blends above 15%. And the standard 812 or 810 without the VG would be our standard Viton B. So now we're going to go through the procedure that you would take to replace the seals in an API 800 series coupler. So first, let's look at what you're going to need. You'll need the, the product manual, which you can download from our website. You'll need a four millimeter uh, hex key, a pair of internal E-clip pliers, a flathead screwdriver, and a seal pick, along with the seal kits. You'll have your seal kits that'll have your, your no seal, your cylinder O-ring, <clears throat> and the shaft seal in the 800 series coupler is actually a cartridge. And this cartridge contains all of your inner O-rings. There's two on the inside, and there's two on the outside, all contained in that cartridge. Now let's go through the maintenance procedure. So let's go ahead and start to replace the seals in the coupler. To begin, the, the seal that, that receives the most wear and will likely need to be replaced most often is this no seal that you see here. To replace this seal, the first thing you'll need to do is slide the, the collar forward. And to do that, you grab the handle, press the four latches, which will allow you to slide that collar forward. And with the collar forward, we can then open the coupler. So with the coupler open, we can now get to that seal. So what we would do is with your seal pick, you would just work that seal out of place and, and remove it. And in your seal kit, you'd have a replacement uh, no seal that would just be pressed back into place. Okay? You also have a O-ring on the back of the adapter ring. And that seal as well would be removed with your seal pick. And you can easily just pick it out, remove it, and in your seal kit, you have a replacement O-ring. You'd place it over the adapter ring, and it slides into place. OK. So with your, those seals now replaced, you could then close your coupler. And if you're just going to replace your no seal and cylinder O-ring, this coupler would be, now be ready to go back into service. But now let's look at replacing the shaft seal. So to replace the shaft seals, we have to remove the handle. And there's a small cartridge that's located right below the handle that contains your shaft seals. 
So the first thing we're going to want to do is slide the collar forward. So to do that, grab the handle. We'll press the four latches. And that allows you to slide the collar forward. So with the collar forward, we can now open the handle. And to remove the handle, we're going to want to remove the small eclipse that you see here and these two small bolts that are here. This is the older generation 800 series coupler. The new generation coupler uh, has a single bolt with a lock nut, so you would not see the eclipse. Uh, but either way, we need to remove the handle. So to remove the handle, we would use our, our eclipse pliers, remove the eclipse, and we'd use our hex key to remove the bolts, and we could then remove the handle. So with the handle now removed, you can see our cartridge, which sits just below the handle. To remove it, there's another E-clip that with our E-clip pliers. So with the E-clips now removed, now we can get to our cartridge, which, which looks like this. So the cartridge it comes with all the seals in it, so you have two seals on the outside, two seals in, on the inside that are going to seal the shaft, so double seals on the end, double seals on the out. So this seal cartridge would slide out, and with the new version, what you're going to see is a little tab on the cartridge that with a flathead screwdriver, you'll, you'll be able to just lift that cartridge out. If it's an older generation coupler like we have here, you'll have to work the shaft um, up and down to get that to kind of work its way out and you'll eventually be able to just dig it out of there. But that's what you'll do to replace your seal cartridge. So when you replace the shaft seals, you're going to get a kit and that kit's going to include your cartridge, a washer that sits just underneath the, the cartridge, the eclipse that go with your handle bolts and the e-clip that's going to sit on top of the cartridge. So once you get your new cartridge in place, you'll then replace the e-clip, which we'll go ahead and do. And with the e-clip in place, we'll then install the handle. Okay, so with the e-clip, installed, you know, and you want to always make sure with your clips that everything is fully seated, it's in its grooves like we have here, so we can then replace our handle. So handle goes back on the shaft and with our handle bolts. Again, there may be one of these bolts, or there could be two, depending on which generation you have. And just replace those bolts. Tighten them with your, your hex key. Get those good and tight. With your bolts in place, we would then replace the, your eclipse. And those go in fairly easy. Again, make sure your clips are fully seated in their groove. So with our eclipse in place, and then close the handle. And this coupler is ready to go back into service. So that's the procedure you would follow to replace the seals in the 800 series coupler. If you have questions on any products from OPW, please go to our website, www.opw-es.com. Thanks for watching this video.